How could China kill off SpaceX? SpaceX's space race has expanded to unimaginable horizons. When Elon Musk floated the idea of leading man to form the first colonies on Mars, many people believed that the businessman had lost his mind. Now, with the massive number of satellites owned by Starlink, one of the obstacles Elon faced has been removed. Communication from Earth and to other planets is possible, but the danger facing such links could come from a much more earthly threat. What will happen to the Starlink satellites if these threats come true? Is Elon Musk prepared to lose some of his teams? Or did he anticipate such a scenario and is ready to deal with it? The truth is that Starlink has increased its production and launch of new satellites in recent years, for which several groups have been irritated and have even made statements that put the safety of the equipment owned by the tycoon at risk. For this reason, today the possible dangers facing Starlink will be analyzed, and where the attacks could come from. Too many satellites in space. One of the issues that have worried and alerted various nations is the fact that Starlink, the subsidiary company of SpaceX, has launched too many satellites into space in recent years. Elon Musk's original plan is that these satellites form a constellation that orbits the world, so that, with all these devices in orbit, the network coverage they promised is received without interruptions. The problem? China has not taken kindly to all those satellites that pass through its territory from time to time, to the extent that it has been declared a national security issue within the country, and many researchers have been called to find a way to shoot them down. Regardless of whether the methods are soft or hard, an announcement was made from the South China Morning Post, where it was reported that a group of scholars and some groups affiliated with the country's central defense are studying the possibility of disabling, or, in the worst case, destroying said machinery. This is because it is considered a potential adversary. For this reason, the country is developing a whole series of plans and projects in order to increase its anti-satellite capacity. Among the suggestions that have been made and taken into consideration is to form a system of scale and sensitivity as never seen before. This is in order to track, monitor, stop, and even eliminate each device belonging to the Starlink company. Fortunately for the country, and bad luck for Elon, some results of these operations and projects have already been revealed, on sites such as the article published by the Chinese magazine Modern Defense Technology. There, they not only list a whole series of methods to protect the nation through soft and hard neutralization systems, they also clarify the effectiveness of said plans, through the degree of destruction or deactivation of the operating system of the various elements that form the constellation. Specifically, of those elements that orbit Chinese airspace and its surroundings. Is Starlink in danger? Thanks to certain statements made by some Chinese researchers, such as Ren Yuanzhen, from the Institute of Monitoring and Telecommunications in Beijing, it is known that, Due to the magnitude of the Starlink project, its extremely complex system, and its ability to adapt, Chinese military forces feel threatened. The appearance of the company's satellites and the fact that they orbit millions of kilometers from the Earth has them worried, and this has led them to look for anti-satellite solutions in an effort to protect the nation. The latter is because, as far as is known, Starlink has all the capacity and infrastructure to launch special satellites, which were modified with military payloads. Some of these machines can even be camouflaged as merely commercial satellites, making them difficult to monitor. Due to the great height at which they are located, these satellites could not only circumvent any attempt at identification, but they could also send data and images in real time to other points on the planet, and nobody could detect their little behavior. Come on. Yes, it seems that China has everything well analyzed and prepared for the worst scenario. But why do these suspicions arise? What has led them to distrust so much a project that, until now, is in the hands of the private sector? From what Ren himself comments, 
His country has already developed devices that, even from ground level, have been capable of photographing orbiting satellites in real time. Thanks to these laser images with millimeter resolution and supported by other evidence, such as optical captures from devices and radars, the Chinese government maintains constant surveillance of these satellites. They still do not have reliable evidence that the Starlink network has such military devices, and they do not have enough progress to intercept communications or command orders in the devices. But China continues to consider the constellation as a potential threat. The reason? Musk's company has enough technology and motivation to do it. The Defense of the Chinese Government Although China still does not have enough evidence to show that the satellite network is being used for war purposes, the country has previously demonstrated its ability to respond to such threats. In 2007, they carried out a whole deployment of missiles, which were sent into space with the sole purpose of eliminating several satellites that they considered threats. Although they generated a considerable amount of space debris and the cost of the operation was high, they achieved their goal. Now imagine it. If they had the ability to neutralize potential threats in 2007, what would they do today? With their cutting-edge technology and faster, cheaper labor. Going back to Chinese researchers, they have communicated to their government that, as Starlink is a decentralized satellite system, they not only need to take down the potential threat individually, but they need to destroy the structure at the central level. This employs measures that include low cost to the nation, as well as perfect efficiency and timing. As far as we know, China has been able to create and deploy a myriad of anti-satellite technology advances and devices, including electromagnetic pulses activated by remote commands that fry certain internal parts, microwave devices that block or disable communications, lasers made to blind or destroy devices, and even nanosatellites that, in large numbers, can paralyze the functions of a larger team due to the hacking of its system. There is no doubt that China has everything it needs to protect itself against an attack at the satellite level. Also, it seems that they are not so wrong, in terms of their assumptions about the Starlink satellites and their alliance with the US government. Justified Fear Everything seems to indicate that China is analyzing the situation too much. However, if we carefully study Starlink's alliances and the type of projects it is carrying out these days, we can find some data that does not leave the company on good terms. One of those jobs is just that of the satellite communication plans, since it not only provides high-speed internet service and broadband to the commercial sector, but has also been offered to the military. Focusing on this, researcher Ren ran an analysis and the data shows that the U.S. military's drones and stealth fighter planes could benefit from this technology. It is estimated that both branches would increase data transmission up to 100 times more, and it would all be thanks to that satellite connection. Second, SpaceX signed a contract with the United States Department of Defense. What's its objective? Build machinery and gadgets with the ability to detect and track hypersonic weapons. As far as we know, the company has the funds and advances to accomplish its task. So doing so would be another item on China's already long list of fears. Finally, thanks to the data that Starlink has released on the Constellation, it is known that the satellites have equipment propelled by ions. Due to China's investigation, it has been stated that such attaches would be very helpful if at some point the project's orbit was to be changed from a passive to an offensive formation, even losing a few satellites in the process. If this is true and the Constellation is able to attack and obtain a high-value asset in space, this would become a force of considerable proportions and could significantly fracture the relationship that SpaceX and Starlink have with most of the world. Of course, not for long, since as far as is known, several nations and companies are already working to launch their own satellite constellations into Earth's orbit. 
With this last warning, we come to the end of the video. While it is true that Starlink and SpaceX have achieved exponential growth in recent years, we can see that many of the discoveries and inventions that have come out of both companies were made with the desire to help people. Elon Musk's dream has always been Mars, so why not help make his dream come true, if it could benefit us all in the long run? Or, do you think that both companies actually have other plans in mind, such as espionage? Do not forget to leave your comments on the topic and send your suggestions, so that in the following segments you can enjoy the content that interests you the most. Thank you very much for staying until the end of the video. Subscribe and leave your like. Until next time!